Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just selected his top three SCOTUS finalist. Here they are. It's being reported that President Trump has now completed the interview process for what will be the next Supreme Court justice. After speaking with at least six judges, a source close to the president told Fox News that three finalists have made the shortlist. The president has made it his focus to research these candidates quickly ahead of an expected announcement on Monday. While liberal advocacy groups and others are gearing up for a major confirmation fight because let's face it, they wouldn't be liberals if they wouldn't be whining and crying about something, Trump is moving forward with a final decision to fill the seat of retiring Justice Anthony Kennedy. A decision which will potentially move the Supreme Court more solidly to the right side of the political spectrum. Fox News was told that Trump had initially interviewed six candidates, appeals court judges Brett Kavanaugh, Raymond Kethledge, Amy Coney Barrett, Amul Topper, Joan Larson, and Thomas Hardiman. The interviews comprised seven conversations but President Trump talked to one candidate twice. We don't have confirmation as to which candidate that was although multiple sources are saying the fight is between Kavanaugh, Kethledge, and Barrett to be our next Supreme Court justice. Here is more on this breaking story via Fox News. President Trump has completed the interview process for Supreme Court candidates after speaking with six judges, a source with knowledge of the selection process told Fox News, with three finalists in particular leading the field. The president and his vetting team have moved quickly ahead of an expected announcement on Monday. While liberal advocacy groups and others are gearing up for a major confirmation fight, Trump is charging ahead with an imminent decision to fill the seat of retiring Justice Anthony Kennedy, and potentially move the court more solidly to the right. Fox News has told that Trump has interviewed six candidates, appeals court judges Brett Kavanaugh, Raymond Kethledge, Amy Coney Barrett, Amul Topper, Joan Larson, and Thomas Hardiman. The interviews comprise seven conversations, Trump talked to one candidate twice. Multiple sources indicated Kavanaugh, Kethledge and Barrett are currently the focus of attention. Federal appeals court judges on President Trump's short list for the Supreme Court vacancy. The president also had an additional phone call with Utah GOP Senator Mike Lee, though Fox News has told the call was not a formal interview and more to ask Lee his thoughts on who would make a good nominee. Multiple sources told Fox News that while Lee is on the president's broader list of 25 potential candidates he has vowed to choose from, he is not currently under consideration to replace Kennedy. An intense pressure campaign is being waged on the sidelines, by conservative and liberal interests alike. Democrat-aligned groups are pressuring potential swing senators, especially moderate Republicans like Alaska's Lisa Murkowski and Maine's Susan Collins, to oppose Trump's eventual nominee, arguing in part that landmark decisions like abortion legalizing Roe v. Wade could be at risk. Supreme Court frontrunners' perceived views on abortion are being scrutinized. Conservative groups, meanwhile, have sought to sway the president's decision-making including a whisper campaign against Kavanaugh over everything from his ties to the George W. Bush administration to a past Obamacare ruling. While some critics have claimed that 2011 case helped pave the way for the law's individual mandate to be upheld by the Supreme Court, others say the criticism is unfounded, and Kavanaugh actually spoke out against the mandate. Kavanaugh remains very much in the running, however, while Kethledge's stock is said to be rising. Some conservatives have pointed to Kethledge as a potential justice in the mold of Neil Gorsuch, Trump's first Supreme Court nominee last year. Both Kethledge and Gorsuch once served Kennedy as law clerks, as did Kavanaugh. Kethledge, a Michigan law graduate, would add academic diversity to a court steeped in the Ivy League. As Trump prepares to name the second high court pick of his presidency, speculation also has focused on Barrett a former law clerk to Justice Antonin Scalia and a longtime Notre Dame Law School professor who serves on the Seventh U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals. Conservative groups rallied around Barrett after her confirmation hearing last year featured questioning from Democrats over how her Roman Catholic faith would affect her decisions. We can rest assured that if the typical liberal groups are against whoever the president nominates that person is good for America and our American values and morals. Maybe this way we will finally be able to get back to those American values and morals we were all once proud of until the communists started infiltrating us in the 50s and led the so-called hippie revolution in the 60s which led to the moral decline of our glorious nation and her people. Whomever President Trump nominates we all better buckle up because the George Soros-led left is already gearing up for all-out war. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.